Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jacob here, and today I am back with a brand new video. Now, I know I haven't been recording lately, but I've been busy. I've been busy actually trying to get to uh, about 50 followers on Twitch. So, that's pretty much where I've been. I've been streaming on Twitch. I finally got to 52 subscribe or 52 followers. So, yeah. So, I'm making this video because, well, Minecraft Live just happened. We just uh, got word about what's coming up in the in future of Minecraft. Uh, so, hold on. Let me... Easy. This is July. Okay. So... Basically, Minecraft Live just got done, and I watched through the entire thing, and man, was that event, was that live pretty, like, I loved that live. Uh, let me just do... So, let me go over what we know so far about the live about what's coming up in the future updates of Minecraft. So, we know that Minecraft, as we know it, is gaining a my, uh, the next update, 1.19, is going to be the wild update. It's going to bring an overhaul to uh, the swamp biome, and it's also going to bring in the deep dark. Which is going to be amazing to look at. That is for sure. Like, man, when I was seeing the swamp for the first time in the wild update on live, I was just like freaking out over it. Like, I'm just like, my next base in 1.19 is going to be in a swamp. <laughs> like, I'm not going to change my mind on that. 1.19 swamp base is happening. For the next series. Like. That's. That's just insane. I want to actually go to a swamp. It makes me actually want to go to the swamp. So. What's happening in uh, the swamp? What are they adding? They're adding mangrove trees. Which is. Which we also get a new wood type. For it as well. Which is very cool. Like very very cool. So. We get a new wood type, we get a uh, new, of course, tree type, and we get root, like new roots, we get mud. Now mud is actually really, really cool, believe it or not. So basically what you do is you take a water bottle, you pour, uh, pour some water from the water bottle onto the dirt, and it'll turn into mud. You can use that mud to either make mud bricks, or you can use it to make clay. That is amazing that you can just get renewable, uh, uh, renewable clay, meaning you have infinite emeralds just by clay, just from using, uh, dirt. You can just get infinite emeralds from dirt. That's how easy it is. It doesn't take too long. All you need is just a furnace, and then you can literally make infinite emeralds. Like... Or actually, no, you need to, I'm trying to remember, it's like you take, uh, you just need three water bottle, or you just need three glass, you need one dirt, and you need some uh, pointed dripstone as well as a dripstone block. And that's about it. That's literally all you need to get renewable clay. Like, that is insane to think about. You have, in, you have infinite emeralds, like, right off the bat. Like, I am very, very happy about that change. Like, we knew it, we're new, we're we're starting to get like automatic things now, where we can actually like farm things without having to uh, explore. However, there are a lot of things that we also have to go out exploring to actually get at first. So I like that. I actually really like that. It it brings a new feeling because uh, for those who like, how do I put it? 
I'm one of those who likes to automate things. I like to do things the easiest way possible, as well as the hardest way possible at the same time. I try to go for easy builds at first in the new world to uh, harder, more complex farms. So, I mean, it's going to be amazing once we figure out how to automate play. If we ever do figure out how to automate play, that'll be awesome. I'm going to be so psyched for that day when we can actually just automate resources like that. Because, like, that is a game changer right there. And that was so close. Are you kidding me? So, the next thing. Frogs. Frogs are being added to Minecraft. So, that is going to be interesting to find. So, what you can do is, if you go to a swamp, you can either find frogs that uh, grow from tab that's already spawning like that, or you can find tadpoles. You can pick up a tadpole in a, uh, in a, bu in a bucket, and when you do that, you can, uh, so you transport it, and whenever it actually grows up into a frog, depends, like, the style of it and the benefits it gives you depends on the biome it grows up in. So if it grows up in, like, say, a cold biome like a snowy plains or a, a ice cap peak, then it will turn into a, uh, like a dark green type frog. But if it grows in, let's say, a desert, it's going to grow up into a tropical frog or a what more white frog. That way it's, like, deflecting all the light. Like, it's, or it's reflect, uh, reflecting all the light. That, in any case, you know what I mean. Like, that is, that is some serious gameplay changes right there. So, let's say, uh, you have a tropical frog. Let's say, it can actually, let's say it can teleport, or not really teleport, but give you, uh, what could it give you? Like, there's so many things that it can... Like, it could give you fire resistance. It could give you... Uh... What else could it give you? It could give you... I'd say... I don't even know. There's, like, so many possibilities that it can give you. Uh... Or... The... The cold frog. The one that grows in the, uh in the cold biomes could give you an anti-freezing effect. There's so many different things. So, not only is the biomes getting a little bit of an update, especially the, uh, the especially the swamp, but we're also getting the deep dark in 1.19. 1.19 will add the deep dark, but it also adds more things to the deep dark. They've been working hard and, I mean, hard on 1.19's Deep Dark. Like, that it's sick. It is actually sick to look at. So, they added Deep Dark Cities. What these look like, these look like kind of like, how do I put it? It looks like a temple underground. Kind of look, kind of reminds me of the little structures you find underwater in the ocean. Except these are to another level. Like, these use the deep dark or these use the deep slates and I mean it's crazy just to look at I'm being for real it's crazy so they also added more to the skulk family as they referred to it as so the skulk family has the, the skulk sensors but it also has like a skulk sound wave type of thing how do I I don't even know how to describe it I forgot the name of the block uh, I'm just remembering this all at the top of my head, but they went over what it can do, and basically, if you make a sound too many times, the warden will actually appear. So it doesn't automatically spawn; it's more like in the ground. And so, whenever it's uh, whenever it's get summoned because it hears it too many times, then uh, then the warden will actually come out from under the ground. That's that is actually like insane mob design right there. And so they actually updated the warden as well. So the warden, instead of just hearing where you are, 
uh, it can also sniff you out. So if you're actually being quiet, it'll eventually like find you. So they actually showed a little bit of a clip of this on the actual thing, on the actual stream, and I mean, literally, he was he was just like sneaking, and as he was sneaking, uh, literally as he was sneaking, the warden was like following where it was where the scent was coming from. Now it doesn't actually show the scent. But it does, like, uh, you can actually see the warden following you, even though it doesn't have a sense of, even though he can't hear you, the warden actually was able to find, uh, the player. So, I mean, it was, it's crazy to think about how much the warden has changed. It's crazy to think about how much the deep dark has changed. So, I mean... It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how much the game has changed since uh, the like the announcement of the Deep Dark. Like that is crazy. I still need to do modifiers for these. And I messed that up, but I mean, deep dark. I mean, I'm loving this type of uh, stuff that they're adding. Like it's crazy to look at. Now, they also added mud bricks. I mean, they added this so that they could have like the people who live in like mud homes and all that like to feel like home in minecraft and it's so nice to think about that and actually that's actually one of the main things i'm going to go for whenever i'm uh going to make my mud base i'm going to actually like use i'm going to actually like use the mud bricks for my base like it's Great, it's amazing to see. But they also added another thing. They added fireflies. Now, I'm kind of hoping they update the firefly texture a little bit. Just a little bit. To the point where it actually has wings. But that's the only thing I have to say about it. Like, it's... it's lo it looks amazing. It adds to the ambience. Like, you can see the lights like flicker on and off. And I love that. I absolutely love that, but I just wish they would add like wings to it so that they can have a, so that they can actually have a little bit more style to them as well. Like if they have that, then it's going to be amazing to look at. I'm just saying that now. The style for. The fireflies, if they have wings, will just make perfect for me. Like, it'll just look great. I'm not. I'm just saying this out of the top of my head. They don't have to add it, but to me, it just would have a much better feel if they actually did do that. Oh man, I'm actually getting my control. But, uh, in any case, this, this update is going to be amazing, for sure. I'm actually psyched about this. I am absolutely psyched about the next 1.19 update. I'm actually amazed by how much the devs are working on this type of stuff. And, I mean, it's great to see that Minecraft is getting so uh, large with the updates that the devs are actually putting in the time. Like, the devs for the Deep Dark 
literally mentioned that they just didn't want to rush the Deep Dark. And I'm glad I did it because, I mean, we're getting new uh, ruined cities. Like, Deep Dark ruined cities. And that's going to be so amazing to look at. So, the mangrove trees. Let me go back to the mangrove trees. The, the t saplings for the mangrove trees are actually very, very unique. I'm, I'm loving this update so far. And once the snapshots and betas start coming out, I'm gonna even, I'm I'm going to be checking them out. I guarantee it. I'm going to be checking the mangroves and all of that out when they start to come out on betas because I want to try it. I want to try it so bad. Now, one thing I have a question for it's for the devs is, will there be like mud brick stairs? Will there be mud brick slabs? Will there be like mud brick walls? I want there to be mud brick walls, mud brick. Uh, stairs, mud brick slabs. I'm not asking for like trap doors because I know that won't happen. That's just too now. But m at least mud uh, brick walls. Yeah, that'll be amazing to look at. Like you have like a perimeter, and I mean it's so simple. And I mean mud and clay are very very common resources. So having infinite of them. I mean, you still need to get a good villager in order to get infinite clay or infinite emeralds from clay. Plus, you also have to do it manually, and it takes a little bit of time, so it's not, like, immediate. But it's still a way to get infinite resources. So, I mean, it's, it's crazy to look at this and say, yeah, dirt's become a lot more useful now. Dirt can actually give you emeralds. And it's crazy to think about the, like that. And actually, dirt can technically give you diamond armor now, which is a way to think about it as well. Because if you think about, uh, you get a stone cutter, you trade in the clay, then you get a an armor smith, a tool smith, and a weapon smith, and you are an armorer. A toolsmith and a weaponsmith, you can get diamond armor from dirt in this update. That's kind of crazy to think about, actually. So you can just cure the zombie villager until you get down to one, and then you get a uh, one of the mob or one of the stone cutters, and you basically make sure it's like out of one so one clay block one clay uh ball for a emerald for one emerald a one-on-one -on -one deal and then you can use that deal uh to get infinite emeralds like it's crazy to think about it like that and then you can use those infinite emeralds to get infinite armor like infinite diamond armor and infinite uh diamond tools, infinite diamond, uh, swords. So, I mean, when you think about it like that, or infinite diamond axes as well, like, because diamond axes are technically also part of the weaponsmith and the tools, I think, if I remember correctly. I might not. I haven't used a weaponsmith or an armor smith or an armorer, and a, I mean, I know armorers don't have any tools, so... But I haven't used the toolsmith or the weaponsmith in a while now. So, I mean, I, I really don't know. I haven't even used them much. So I don't know what they give you and what they don't. But, in any case, this, I mean, this update, I'm, the wild update is going to look amazing. I'm going to, I'm gonna love this update, the 1.19 update. And I mean, combined with the caves and cliffs update, I mean, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal to see how much work the devs are putting into the overworld. But we definitely do need some variety in the end now. Like, the end definitely needs an overhaul as well. A massive one, because right now it's looking a little bit plain compared to the overworld in the nether. But, I mean, I get where the devs are going with this. They're actually wanting to fully fix the overworld first before they move on to the next by now. I mean, 
the nether gets updated, and then the overworld gets updated again. Like, the majority of the updates are in the overworld, but, I mean, they're adding new biomes, they're adding variations to the new biomes, they're adding uh, variations to the old biomes, they're adding, they're actually changing the old biomes to make it more suited, newer, for the newer updates. They're, like, and all of this, and console, like PS4s can still run stable FPS. M most phones that didn't get uh, downgraded or basically get canceled from uh, 1.17 and on up, uh, they run smoothly on a pretty stable 60 FPS. I mean, yeah, it dips down uh, a little bit, quite a bit, every now and then, but. I mean, it still works, and it still is playable. Very, very, very playable. I mean, my laptop, my laptop is a seven to eight year old laptop, and it still runs very well. So, I mean, we have, we have all of this. To look toward boards too, so I mean, it's crazy to think about. It really is. I really am liking what the devs are doing with Minecraft. At when I first heard what Microsoft when Microsoft bought um, Mojang. I wasn't really sure if what to expect when I went into Minecraft Bedrock or anything like that or what they were going to do for the updates. And they didn't even update it that much when they bought it out. But seeing this, I'm glad that they did I'm glad that they did this because I mean, you see all of this amazing update and you can kind of tell that I mean, Mojang they didn't actually uh sell Minecraft that much for when they for um the time that they did. I don't know uh what updates would have looked like if they didn't even sell at all. So we don't know what could have happened. So I'm glad things panned out the way they did. Because we're seeing all of these amazing updates for a game that's about eleven to twelve years old by now. And the community is growing and growing and growing. It's growing even more than it was before that bit. Like, that is amazing to think about. That is absolutely incredible to see. Like, I am just glad to see Minecraft thriving like this. So, I'm sorry I went on a tangent. Let's go back on to the topic of 1.19. Or 1.18 now. So 1.18 is cl closing in. They actually announced what is happening in the next... Or they actually announced that pretty soon, Minecraft 1.18 will come out. Like, we are about a month or two away from 1.18. That's exactly what the dev... That's exactly what Agnes said in Minecraft Live at the beginning of Minecraft Live. We're a month away from the actual Cajun Cliffs in, like, vanilla, not, well, I mean, we are in vanilla, but, uh, we're about a month or two away from Cajun Cliffs without having to go into experimental, without having to go do much, and that was weird, I just kind of, okay, in any case, I mean, this, Right here. No, let me just. But this right here is incredible. I'm loving the fact that they've put so much work into Caves and Cliffs. And then they're going even further with the biomes. They're going even further and further and further and further in with the overworld. They're overriding like majority of the biomes. Like, they're going to change it and make it look a lot better. And I really do appreciate that. That is 
that is gonna be amazing to like when we when it finally comes out. Like I even mentioned in the uh on Twitter, uh that this is going to be an incredible, incredible uh update. One point nineteen is gonna be incredible to look at. I'm going to be honest, 1.19 is going to be incredible to watch, and incredible to play. Like, I'm ready to see the development in 1.19 already. Like, once they start actually working on 1.19, I'm going to be like, yes, I'm getting beta, yes, I'm getting snapshots. Oh my god, I'm, gonna re I'm just going to constantly play the snapshots and betas for a little bit. <laughs> Unless I'm streaming, because I can't really stream betas on PS4. Once I get a computer, I'll stream betas and I'll stream snapshots on, uh, on Twitch. But, until then, we're streaming on PS4. <laughs> I mean, snapshots and betas are going to be so fun to play on. And, it's just going to be incredible to look at whenever the generation comes in like once they start working on mangroves once they start implementing the mangroves once they start implementing the fireflies once they start implementing the uh the frogs once they start implementing all these different things once they start implementing the warden once they start implementing the deep dark once they start implementing the uh all of these different things like it's going to be just insane to look at it's going to be insane to play around with. It's going to be insane to see what creations people can come up with. Like, thinking about that, I think I might have actually came up with a strategy when dealing with the deep dark as well while watching the, li the live stream. So, I think what we could do is instead of having, uh, I think what we could do is we could have, like, if we were going to the deep dark, because, because the warden, or because the warden gets summoned because of sound, if we were to place wool around the skull sensors, then we could actually get rid of all of them without having to, like, without having to actually worry about the sound. That would be an that would actually be a smart way of going about uh, not summoning in the warden. That is a way to get around the warden just by doing that. Like that is incredible to think that I've already came up with a strategy on defeating the warden. Really, all right, but that might be. A way to go around the warden without having to actually encounter it. So, as long. Hold on, where do I go? I think I go. Yeah, I go right there. Okay. But, as long. And I mean, as long as. Uh, they're doing snapshots. It's gonna keep me guessing. For sure. I mean, I am absolutely ready to see this update come out. The wild, the Minecraft, the wild update. And I just went the wrong way. Minecraft, the wild update. Just listen, just hearing that makes me just happy to hear. Actually, I wonder if I can, if I can choose that, but. Hold on, I want to actually see if I can choose it. But. No, I can't. I can't. Okay. But. That update is going to change Minecraft as we know it again. At. For the second time in a row. Like. All of these different things. They're changing things. They're adding things that we haven't seen before. 
Like, we're actually gonna get the warden in the next update, for sure. Like, thinking about that, we should be, uh, expecting to see it, like, not really, uh, immediately after, but, like, somewhat after the snapshot starts. So, they typically, what they typically do is they typically, uh, add blocks, mobs, uh, that are going to be in, uh, the update around the first, if they already have, like, a plan that, or they've already figured out a way to, uh, get there, if I, no, that's not the right, that's not the right way to put it, um, the best way to put it is, they try to figure out, uh, if they know what they're going to, where they're going to put the mob, if they know, uh, if they have, like, already got a plan for the area that the mob is going to spawn in, uh, later on down the road, then they will implement it. But, I, I'm guessing, like, the deep dark wasn't, like, fully thought out yet. They were still, like, what should we do? What, how should the warden be spawned? How, how does the warden, how should the warden, uh, operate? Is there going to be any more new quirks to the warden that should be in the game? But they didn't fully thought that out whenever they were doing 1.17. And they still didn't do it when they were getting closer to it in 1.18. So I'm guessing now in 1.19, when 1.19 comes out, they'll have enough time to fi figure out that final uh, question to actually fully implement that warden into the game as well as the deep dark and the deep dark ruined cities so that's just my idea uh, my ideology as to what could be happening uh behind the scenes with that like it's crazy to think about how minecraft has come this far do the thing about how far minecraft has come compared to uh let's say yeah, that wouldn't work. But it's crazy to see how far Minecraft has come. In general. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I was just going over how Minecraft Live was. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I've been busy streaming, as I said at the beginning of the video. Uh, but, new series is going to start soon. I hope. I absolutely hope I start a new series soon. Um, possibly like in about a month I'll start uploading a brand new series. Uh, that past series that I've been doing uh, is now kind of discontinued in a way. Because I lost where I was in the uh, series. I absolutely lost where I was. So because of that, I'm going to be starting a new series in about a month. So just keep an, an eye out on that. I'm going to start it whenever it, whenever 1.18 comes out, and I'm going to do a tutorial. Like, not really a tutorial, but I'm going to do, like, a guide through on it. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you. Or you can't see me, but hold on. Next level. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. But I'll see you in the next one. Peace.